Good morning all. Um, I'm really concerned about this sewage that's actually coming up in the middle of this beautiful working village. This isn't right that people should be having to walk through, drive through raw sewage. And I'm just hoping that the authorities will be able to do something so that people of this village can remain safe and stay safe because anywhere else this will be a health hazard. Are there particular times of year and events when it seems to get worse? Yes, it, uh, it's always at this time of year, uh, January, February uh, and possibly uh, March when the springs come up. Uh, in, in 2014 it was horrendous here, there were tremendous floods um, because of the amount of rain that we had and recently with the rain that we have had uh, is, is causing this now of course uh, and uh, it will happen again and again and again. It's the same size sewers as it was you know, 50, 60 years ago basically. So how many people do you think um, were living here um, say 60, 70 years ago? About 1500. Now there's about 4,500 I think it is, something like that. Every, every year since I can ever remember um, the springs have come up. So basically I no longer want my children to walk through because there's just excrement coming onto the pavements, toilet roll, there's bus stops that collect secondary school children here which um, they're walking past and actually being splashed by traffic. Um, I walk around the village now, I no longer use this bit of road, I never walk my dog here. Um, I was up and down here like quite long yesterday because I went to East Bridge for their service and I went back to I've been contacting Thames Water repeatedly, I've been in touch with the Environment Agency, um, all seem to be passing the buck to one another. Um, recently I've been told it's actually West Berkshire Council's responsibility to clear this up, but I'm getting nowhere. It's a vast underground reservoir here under the chalk or in the chalk uh, and uh, sooner or later with all the rain that we do get uh, it, it rises and it can't go any further. I mean Thames Water was supposed to have um, lined these pipes as you were referred to earlier on uh, but whether, I, it can't be a success I mean, it can still happen. Did the lining reduce the diameter of the pipe? Yes it went from six to five as I'm told uh, so I mean that speaks for itself, doesn't it? You've got less room for it to move through than we had before. Uh, the lining hasn't stopped the ingress of the water.